Donna from Patreon asks, if you cannot tolerate dairy or soy products and you're particularly not a fan of kale or sardines, how easy is it to absorb enough calcium from other foods to meet your daily requirements? And then she wanted to know, is there a difference in between like calcium fortified foods and taking a calcium supplement? It's kind of a two-parter there. So um, the best dairy-free sources of calcium are canned fish with the bones. So canned sardines or canned salmon, if that's a non-starter and that's okay, there's no food you have to eat, just like there's no food you have to avoid in order to, you know, have a nutrient dense health supporting diet. Um, so other good sources, um, oh, wait, we've, we've also said kale is bad, right? Other green vegetables have a good amount of calcium. Citrus has a good amount. Mushrooms have a good amount. Nuts and seeds, especially if I recall correctly, sesame seeds are a good source of calcium. And blackstrap molasses is a great source of calcium. It's got something like 16 or 20% of the daily value per tablespoon. Um, and then regular molasses is also a great source of, of um, calcium. So even just a spoonful of molasses can can work as a, not just a calcium supplement, but also an iron supplement. And it's got a bunch of B vitamins and chromium. Like molasses is a, molasses needs its own whole own category. I think we lump it in with sugars because it's derived from sugar cane, but, but really it's, it's, it's something else. Like I would put it more in like the same category as I would put nutritional yeast. Like it's its own little thing. It's definitely got a strong flavor like nutritional yeast does. So it has very specific culinary uses, but it is packed with nutrients. Um, so uh, yes, calcium fortified foods absolutely count. They tend to have the same forms of calcium found in calcium supplements. Um, if you're going to do a calcium supplement, it is worthwhile talking to your doctor first, because if you're overdoing calcium from supplementation, that does increase uh, a few health risks, for example, increasing risk of, of kidney stones. Um, so just making sure that you are maybe doing like a, a food journal for a few days to gauge what your calcium intake is so that your doctor can recommend a specific dose of calcium supplementation to bring you up to the daily value, but to not exceed it too far. So, um, yeah, the, there's, there's lots of ways of getting calcium. It's definitely tricky when we have, uh, intolerance to dairy, which is the most concentrated source of calcium. But definitely there's lots of calcium fortified uh, milk alternatives out there, dairy product alternatives, calcium fortified vegan cheese, for example. Um, and all of all of that counts. Our, our bodies are pretty good at absorbing calcium. So uh, they're 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 all pretty good. We just want to make sure that we're not overdoing calcium when we're starting to supplement.